What's up guys, Moon Man here. And I just wanted to make a little intro for this before we started with it. Uh, I will be doing these interviews here and there, every now and then if this is something you like, you know, obviously watch, give it a like. If it's not some, a cup of your tea, the normal stuff will still be there. But yeah, as I interview Rogers, who you'll see later on in this video, um, it was my first try. I was very nervous, he, he, didn't, he was kind of nervous a little bit, and we've already agreed to do a follow-up at some point, but these ones going forward after this one are much longer and much better. Um, because this one has a lot of outside sound uh, while the other ones it's more confined to just the talk of the individual so i just want to go ahead and put that out there so if you have any questions you want me to ask them or anything like that any of the interviewees uh go ahead and drop them in the comments and there will be more and uh hope you guys enjoy all right how are you today okay uh, no, so, so, all right. uh can you tell everybody your name Rogers. Rogers, gotcha. Um, and where are you from? Uh, Indiana. Indiana. And um, how how was Indiana? How was life in Indiana? Uh, a lot of farming. A lot of farming. Yeah. Is that what you did uh, while you lived there? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I've been for. Uh, how are you from? Uh, like a big town, small town? Uh, small town. Small town. Yeah. Uh, how long have you been living out of Indiana? Uh, since uh, since the eighties. Since the 80s? Yeah, off and on. Back and forth until uh, 2012. Uh, well, 2009, actually. Uh, gotcha. after I, uh, after I had to come back up this way and uh, end up getting stuck. Yeah, I gotcha. Um, how old are you? 60. 60 years old? Yeah. I understand. What's that, like 1963-ish or something like that? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. And uh, so what was the... Uh, what was the reasoning for coming out here? We are in the vehicle stolen. So why not? Got the vehicle stolen and after that, uh, somebody found a way to get in the, the bank account and uh, figured everything I had there, and so I didn't have no way to get back. Gotcha. And you've been uh, out here for how long? Since uh, uh, 2009. 2009? Yes. Okay, so about 15 years almost? Yeah. Gotcha. Um, how is it? How is it out here? Is it pretty good for you, or is it? It's not too bad. It's a lot warmer. It's a lot what? A lot warmer. It's a lot warmer. Uh, no, no snow drifts. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> um, so, uh, do you do anything for work, or have it, do you have any previous work experience? Right. I've uh, experienced different fields, but I uh, uh, get hit by car. Yeah, and that's, uh, you were telling me uh, off camera that uh, you really messed your leg up a lot when you yeah. went over the car. Yeah, I messed my, uh, four pounds, and uh, went down here with the muscle out of my leg, and uh, I fell it, and I uh, left the hand in the muscle of the car. And I got a uh, bone that got shot up the ear, got an artificial bone. Yeah. Got the screw right up the ear, and this one, and... That was a lot of hospital visits, or did you have to stay in there for a while? Yeah, it's four, four years. Four years in the hospital? Yeah. Understand. So how's it now? Is it uh, still dealing with uh, residual effects from that? Yeah, uh, the pain uh, is still there and can't get rid of it. It just gets worse uh, a lot of times. Make sure I was going to black out. Which I, I did that a few times, blacked out. The pain got too intense. Um, are you currently getting any medical treatment for it? No. No? Uh, is that something you're trying to seek out to get? Where you out and get your ID, uh, your wallet stolen and stuff like that, it makes it a lot harder for you to yeah. uh, get in your work. Yeah. You were telling me off camera that it's hard for you to get your uh, some of your stuff because you live so far from uh, where you're from originally? Yeah, and uh, the cost of it, you know. Yeah, how much it costs? Yeah. Understand. Um, so, what are some. Uh, are you, are you, do you currently. Are you currently have a place that you stay? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay in a tent in the woods. In the tent? Yeah. I understand. Um, as long as people, people don't keep the children from me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Someone stole your tent? Yeah, I had to get another one. Okay. So you do have one, though, right now? Yeah. It's not, not the kind I want, but it can work, though. I understand. Um, is it pretty much just you, or do you live like a few other people? or? No, uh, uh, a few others that stay a little bit further away. Gotcha. Do you guys like uh, help each other out? or? Uh, can, uh, this one don't feel good. Do I know? This one don't feel good. Uh, 
stuff, yeah, I understand. So besides people stealing from you, what other kind of challenges do you face out here? Well, yeah. Uh, when you keep something, you got to keep it in a container so uh, raccoons and stuff won't get them. <laughs> yeah. Are uh, the people pretty cool around here to you? Yeah, they're pretty good. How do you normally uh, get by? Are you getting like, uh, have any money coming in or are you no, doing I'm, little small jobs here and there? No, I don't have any money coming in. A lot, of, a lot of people out there, uh, you know, call this, which uh, they, don't need, they don't need to be out there because uh, they. Do I know? A lot of people out there call this uh, just there because they want to be. Do they want to be homeless? Yeah, because uh, they can work. They get you. Um, so, do you normally like fly a sign? Like yeah. have a sign or something? Yeah, I'm, yeah, when I get, uh, when I gotta, yeah, I get something to. Like some medicine or something like that. Yeah. I got a veteran uh, fly sign. No gotcha. Um, there's no shelters or anything around that help you out, or they just kind of. They only help you out once. Uh, once uh, thing, and, uh, you gotta wait for like three months or so to get help again. Get like help again? But they, they won't let you stay in the shelter, though. But, uh, you gotta have money coming in to stay in the shelter. Oh, you gotta have some like uh, a check or like some kind of small job or something? Yeah. I understand. Um, so, uh, how how long have you been living out here on the street here? Yeah, off and on since uh, 2009. Off and on, and I had a pretty good job. Uh, but then after I got hit by the car, uh, I was on the sidewalk. Gotcha. I understand. Um, so, I guess the next question would be. In the next five years, where do you see yourself? Where do you want to be? In the next five years, hopefully I'll have everything straight now and uh, have a good place. Gotcha. I guess, um, were you in the military at all? I see your hat. Yeah, short time. Short time? Yeah. Uh, where was that? Was that base at? Or? I was in uh, Indiana. In Indiana? I understand. Was that, uh, about what years was that? Probably like... Uh, back in the uh, 80s. In the 80s, I understand. Uh, you never, you never went saw action anywhere. No. no. You just got stationed on the base. I find out you can't see one eye, so they're, you know, uh, they're, they're a good church or something. Oh, you're blind in one eye? Yeah. Oh. I just see light. That's about it. Which one is it? The uh, left eye. I understand. I never noticed that before. Um, and I guess the last question I'm gonna ask you is, uh, if someone's out and they see you know, someone in your situation, what can they do to help? Well, yeah, you know, I think I've been trying to get up, uh, I'm going to get uh, some uh, blankets and sleeping bags. Sleeping bag, uh, sleeping bag uh, people pretty cool to you? Like, are they, a lot of people just, you right. know? Some are. Uh, yeah. Some, uh, you know, they, uh, they both just know that they have a better immune power. Uh, I need to figure out if everybody felt better than in a different position. Yeah, I understand that. All right. Well, I do appreciate you for it. And uh, as always, man, we'll be in touch. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.